Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome back to the project. Now, I started filming a video of the door panel swap. Um, I hope you guys have checked that out. If not, check it out right now. Uh, this is a video that I decided to make within a video because I wanted to clean up these beautiful 5.9 limited ZJ door panels right here. Uh, I wanted to fresh them up. I also have the trim over here. Um, this trim is different than the limited trim. It's more like of a dark reddish purplish tint and uh, really cool. It's on the 5.9 limiteds. It came out only in 1998 and these door panels again have the memory seat function. So um, this actually might be a video within a video within a video. I'm filming three things at the same time uh, doing the door speakers because if I'm replacing the speakers in the doors I'm not putting back the old panels. I'm gonna put these on. And I wanted to make a video about the panels, so uh, that's the second video. This is the third video, and yeah, I have the memory mirror function going on right now. So, video within a video within a video within a video. Dream within a dream. Dream within a dream. Huh? I'm impressed. I don't know, it's crazy. But follow me, we're gonna go clean up all these things, and I wanna show you something really cool. It's a trick to regain your uh, your colored indicator, your shifter indicator. This fades out over time. So we're gonna take this apart first, clean this up too. All right guys, let's do it. All right guys, my first order of business in this trim swap is to prepare this glove box for uh, the swap. So what I'm gonna do is, well, you can see I already cleaned this up. I'll show you how I cleaned up my plastics in, uh, in the next segment, in the next uh, item. But for this one right here, we're gonna have to go and change out the lock mechanism because each key is unique to your ZJ. So uh, I wanna retain my same key and the function of the lockable glove box. So we're gonna have to go swap out this mechanism. Really simple to do, just a bunch of screws, guys. So here we go. Gonna take this off. And uh, again, I believe I explained this in uh, another video, I'm not sure what it was. It could have been the VIC. Um, but yeah, uh, you're gonna want to take off the uh, glove box as a whole because you could try to pry off this trim piece. Here we go, you can see I took off those three screws, but there is some wicked kind of double-sided tape in there. And if you try to force it, this thin plastic will crack and you don't want to ruin it. So that is why we just do the entire glove box swap. So here we go. I'm gonna just continue on removing all these screws. And there we go, once all the screws are out, the glove box just simply lifts away from the trim. Easy stuff, guys. And then, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take off your locking mechanism, and there is only one screw that is holding it on. And it's a machine screw. It's different than the others, so you can't mix it up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just take our locking mechanism slide it out and we're just going to set it aside and we're going to set this glove box aside and I already went and I took the liberty of removing the other my <laughs> glove box it's really easy just four screws at the bottom glove box comes right out so I'm going to go ahead and take this apart now Slide this out, and this is the lock I want to use. So we're going to remove all my former stuff. Now I'm going to bring back my new stuff. There we go. Line up this piece again, and it's so easy, guys. Drop it right down in here. Slide it in place. And I'm just going to line up these holes. That's it. We're gonna put our special machine screw back in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other glove box. So, there we go. That's in there. Start reapplying screws. There we go, guys. Now my lock is now on the 5.9 ZJ glove box. Cool. All right, guys, now what I want to look at now is the shifter bezel. 
Uh, it's definitely got a little bit of scratches here and there. It's got some junk caked on, probably some spilt soda. Who knows what this guy was into? <laughs> uh, one thing, though, that I really can't stand is I swear on every ZJ, I see this shifter uh, indicator right here. See there? It's faded. Now, it's supposed to be this orange color. You know, that's a big bright indicator. lets you know what you're in. But when it's actually in gear, it's faded to white. And that drives me crazy. So we're going to get into this thing and we are going to fix that up. So flip it over and you will find it's got four little plastic welds here. And we are going to ruin them. So <laughs> what you do is you take your trusty little lighter. I got a little torch here, a little butane torch. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop these little plastic welds. Let me zoom in for you. All right, here we go. Right there, just like that. Give them a little melt and pull them right up. There we go, guys. All four are melted. Okay, so now we're going to separate the two. Here it is. Here's the shift indicator. Now you're going to want to make sure you remember how this all goes back together. Uh, this piece slides up and down on here so i guess the track for it here's the uh the housing this goes in like so I'll set this over here and this again it's a nice little uh i don't know i don't know what this is <laughs> plastic washer grommet bezel trim this just sticks with the uh ribbed part up so don't forget that so we're going to go ahead and clean everything up, and then we'll go ahead and color that in. So for all these interior parts, we're just going to use some chemical guys, high shine. I mix it 50-50 with water, makes it last a little longer. So just puts a nice little coating on the plastic. That's all it does. Clean out the junk and the crumbs. Amazing how much dirt collects in 20 years. Stuff you didn't even know existed. Stuff that was sealed. This is where your light clicks in too. So the cleaner it is in here, the more fresh your light is going to reflect inside of this thing. We're going to have a nice, beautiful, glowing shifter. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. Don't get carried away, Dan. i to keep telling myself that. This is the part that gets the most dirty. This is where your french fries... All your crumbs end up landing. I buy them when we filled up. Well, wait, but you, we're supposed to talk about all expenditures, Lloyd. We are on a very tight budget. This didn't come out of our travel fund. So we'll spend some time getting off the goop on this. All right. Now this part is what you want to be very, very careful with. This will scratch. This will ruin the finish. So we're just going to gently get off the crumbs from here. I'll blow it out. There we go. We'll clean up this little track over here. Again, we're just trying to get off the crusty stuff that's been built on for many, many years. And here we go. This is the shifter indicator, and it is completely faded out. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a trusty Sharpie. Now, you can use orange. Orange would probably be more factory, but I think I'm going to step it up to red, just to give it a little edge. I don't know. Make it edgier. <laughs> so we're going to go red with this one. And just going to color it in. I drew the duck blue because I've never seen a blue duck before, and to be honest with you, I, I wanted to see a blue duck. I am very good at coloring, guys. Just quick, just this. <laughs> there we go. There it is, man. So simple, guys. This stuff is so easy. <laughs> all right. Everything is nice and clean. Just going to set all these parts aside so we can work on the bezel. Now, this is what you actually see. This is what you want to look nice. So, go ahead and use my mother's. <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> 
Well, there's aluminum mag polish. This works great for polishing up your uh, your plastics. It's a trick I like to use. Gonna go ahead and wipe some of this stuff on. This works well on plastics because it's uh, abrasive and you can actually remove the top layer of oxidation and corrosion and all that other junk by using this stuff. So here we go. There we go. A lot of the junk is off, nice and shiny. It's not much you can do about the deep scratches. I'm not gonna sand it down and repaint it. I'm just gonna try to bring out the natural shine on the original finish. And again, I'm just gonna hit this whole thing with some chemical guys. Love this stuff. High shine, baby. There we go. Looking pretty nice. <laughs> All right, let's reassemble this guy. All right, here we go. Let's just reassemble it in the order that we took it all apart. All right, now we're just gonna assemble this the way it came. Let's see, I believe this walled part goes in the walled part. <laughs> there you go, in like that. Uh, this slides on here. It's only one way that could go. This was like that. This was up. Okay. Let's rest it on. Click. One, two, three, four. Good. Slide back all the way down. Everything's flush. Uh, now what you could do, take your little torch again. You could heat it up and push it flat if there's any material still left. This one's got some material. Push that flat. Now, that does work, guys. It is held on now by that little flap of plastic. But what you can do, and this is probably an even better way of attaching it, go ahead and get yourself some screws. Let me show you. We got four little flathead screws. So what we're gonna do now is heat this up we're gonna drive these little screws in. There we go. And when you drive these screws in, the wide part from this flathead screw will go ahead and push out the plastic and it'll make a nice, good fitting for this. So let's go ahead and get them in. And you're gonna to wanna to give it a little bit of heat along the way, just so it could kinda of melt itself some threads. And it works really great, guys. It really does. I like to call this uh, another Project Van H original. There we go. Look at all that good plastic meat just separating, spreading out, forming a nice solid lock. That's awesome. There we go. Nice, clean, Restored shifter bezel <laughs> 5.9 limited shifter bezel. So cool. I'm gonna put this in the pile to be installed Rattle. So sorry it got dark I don't know what happened this daylight savings is killing me I said it before I'll say it again I don't like daylight savings so first thing I'm gonna do is install the glove box now this just slides right on there you go and now I got four screws on the bottom I'm gonna put in so I'm just gonna go upside down for a minute don't mind the back of my head you'll see it guys you'll see the four holes We've done this a bunch of times here on the project. Many videos we've had to remove all this from. There it is. 
Whew. All lightheaded now. <laughs> All right, there it is. Glove box is in. And where are my keys? Here we go. Let's just double check this lock mechanism. Perfect. All right, it works. Let me put all my crap back in here. All right, guys, again, I am so sorry for the lighting conditions. It's just terrible, but we won't be here much longer. Just gonna take off this trim, easy as pie. Uh, what do I say, easy peasy? <laughs> That's the ticket. Pop on this new trim. There we go, easy peasy. Now we're gonna do the shifter bezel trim. So you're gonna wanna turn on your vehicle, put it in neutral, or one of these rear drives. Let's go all the way with one. And we're just gonna rip the shifter straight up. There we go. That comes off. Now we could turn off that annoying sound. Now we're just gonna pop this up. There we go, and on the bottom is a little light bulb we're gonna unplug. That comes out, and this just slides up. So bye-bye old bezel, let me grab the new one. New wood grain shifter bezel, nicely restored. Go slide your shifter through that hole, and I gotta go plug in this light bulb right down there. Can I do it one-handed? Yes, I can. I'm the man. <laughs> all right. Now I'm gonna rock this all the way forward. Shorten up this trim down here. So I can tuck that in and slide it back. Now I'm gonna rock the shifter all the way back. So I could tuck in the front of it and pops right on. Boom. Now we're just gonna go ahead and grab our shifter and put it right back on. There we go. Look at that guys. Nice good shifter indicator. All right, it's in park. Let's see the last one. All right, and the last piece of trim, we yank that off, and just gonna line up the new piece. There we go. All right, guys, there's that nice red glow for my indicator. It goes great with my new ZJ panels that have the, uh, Red indicator there that it's hard to see in the dark. Again, I apologize for the lighting. The daylight savings is killing me. But uh, there we go. We got our beautiful ZJ trim to match our ZJ door panels. We went from the limited to the 5.9, and that is looking great. So there we go. That's all in up there. It's in up there. We got this. And, of course, we got all the door panels. So that's it, guys. All right, guys, that's it. That's going to do it for my Jeep ZJ trim upgrade video. We went from the Laredo trim to the 5.9 Limited trim. Uh, I hope you picked up some tips and some tricks on how to get your trim looking nice and new again. Uh, also, if you haven't seen my trim video for the door panels, go check out the door panel video. Um, again, I got some other little tips and tricks on how to make your door panels new. And if you haven't seen my speaker video, go to the video before that and check out the speaker video. So that's a wrap for this one. The CJ is coming a long way. It's looking brand new. Um, I'm gonna keep working on this until I get my Project XJ uh, dialed in and that's coming down the line. The, the Beach Jeep project will be unveiled again soon. So that's it. Like and subscribe. Go check out the link in the description below. Get your Project Dan H stickers, help support the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next project. Peace.